everybody. So I found a recipe that people have been sharing on Facebook like crazy. I wanted to see if it works. This is something new I'm going to try. It's kind of like a Dollar Tree hack, stuff you can get the Dollar Tree. So what you guys will need is you guys will need a quarter cup of dish soap. You guys will need a half a cup of lemon juice. I did get this at the Dollar Tree. You guys will also need a one cup of vinegar in a spray bottle, and then you also need a one and a quarter cup of water. So what I'm going to do is get my water and everything prepared and show you guys what it's going to do. I'm going to put it all in this bottle and see how well it does, but we're going to do an oven cleaner that all you have to do is just spray, let it sit, and wipe, and we will work wonders, and don't judge me, but I'm going to show you guys my so stove. So here is my stove. It is gross. We do a lot of cooking, but we never clean it up, so don't judge me, I'm sorry. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a test. I think I'm gonna do one side of the spray and then show you guys what it looks like before and after. So here is what my stove looks like before, and let me get the ingredients okay, mixed so up. Okay, I got everything all prepared, and this is what we're gonna do. So the first recipe uh, required or asks for one and a half cups of water. So we're just going to pour the water right in. Okay. It asks for one cup of vinegar. Probably going to spill this. Okay. It asks for a half a cup of lemon juice. And then a quarter cup of dish soap. So this is going to take a little bit to drain. And it's just like going right to the bottom, the dish soap is. So I'm just going to let this drain and then show you what to do next. So the line's right here, and this is how much it filled up. I mean, it did fill up a bunch so I'm gonna put the cover on and then just shake it gently and mix it all together I'm just stirring it now it's all mixed so let's get ready let me make sure this is open ready to spray I don't think it's ready. Okay, let's see yep. how it goes. I'm probably going to let it just sit for about 10 minutes. It Mom, does have a weird Mom, smell to it, but Mom, nothing. Mom, what are you doing? I'm cleaning the stove. It does have a weird smell to it, but... Is that dirty? We'll see. Yes, it is dirty. So I sprayed all over the place. We're just going to let it sit. I'll probably let it sit for about 10 minutes and see how it looks. Okay, so this has been sitting for 10 minutes. I'm going to do a wipe test and see how well it did. Here, I don't see any difference. I mean, yeah, it's coming off, but it's not really cleaning it. Maybe it needs to be wet. I don't know. Let's try this. Oh. It did do something. Wow. Look at that. I think I got to get this wet or I'm going to use a sponge. Okay. I'm going to get this wet or get a sponge. But look at that. We got some Okay, progress. so now I got a wet paper towel. Didn't do anything really with the door. But let's go back and clean this. supposed to be easy to pick up. I think I'm going to spray this some more and have it just really drained in here. But it is, it is doing it. I don't know if it's doing it over here. But, okay. We got some out of it. I'm going to do some, I'm going to spray some more and let it really sit in there. Okay, so this is what my stove looks like for about two and a half hours after I sprayed it. I have scrubbed it. I started using a sponge with a Scotch-Brite pad on it and I've been scrubbing it, I've been letting it soak and then I scrub it, but 
I do see a difference. I don't see a difference on my door, but I do see a difference. I'm going to continue doing this, and I will let you guys know how long it takes. Um, most of you guys probably don't have a stove as dirty as mine, but you might do. So I'm continuing to show you guys my stove. <laughs> sitting for about 24 hours. I've been trying to clean it. We had to use it last night so I had to wait for it to completely cool down but I kind of let it soak overnight. It still didn't do anything but this is considered clean for me. I am not doing it anymore. I've been on my hands and knees scrubbing probably at least two hours just trying to scrub it so I don't know. The cleaner does work. I used about half of the bottle but the cleaner does work probably for not as caked on stove as mine but I would definitely continue using it. I'm just gonna wait like a month and keep doing it. Just let it, you know, clean itself. But yeah, if you guys enjoy these kind of videos, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know. I'm gonna try to do some more hacks for you guys for cleaning and thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.